Hello, I'm Thane Morris. The interest in theater started in high school. They had a senior play every year with uh, eight people, which didn't work because a lot of classes had a lot less people than that. I was cast for the, the play. I did that. I was in every play for the next six years going up and was more interested in the technology than the acting. I realized fairly early on that there are puppets and there are puppeteers, and I'd rather be a puppeteer, thank you very much. So I was in the background. Usually, had <laughs> because of the high population of the classes, I'd be the stage tech and one of the leads. <laughs> and I like theater. I discovered a lot of things in theater in college, like I don't want to be a director. As the lighting guy, the guy operating the curtain, you've got full control. At one point I worked in Bond Peace Theater in Denver. Bond Peace owned the Denver Post uh, and Helen's daddy built the theater for her. She had been on Broadway for some bit parts. She is in a play. I'm running the lights. And I'm sitting in the audience in a rehearsal, and she did something that I didn't think was right. And I said, excuse me, Miss Bonifaze, if you do such and such, uh, you will have a better reaction here. And she looked off the stage and said, as she probably should, what do you know? You're just a lighting guy. So I went around to every light, and she had a lot of specials, and put a green gel in with everything else. Her own newspaper said the next day after opening, we do not understand why Miss Bonfies would try to play an ingenue at her advanced years. The green, of course, it just makes you look ugly no matter what you do. So uh, the next day I come to work and uh, I'm going to get fired. I know this. So I come in and I'm marching across the blue carpet with a big ship in it past her door. And uh, so I went into the office. She said, uh, please sit down. I said, I'll stand. She said, okay, I don't know what you did to the lighting last night, but please change it back. And I'm sorry what I said to you yesterday. I changed it back felt really small, <laughs> sweet lady. I work a lot better under pressure, uh, and uh, I love theater. Um, I still volunteer for theater productions. Thing is, once the show starts in theater, there's no eraser on the pencil. You cannot yell cut. If you make a mistake, or anybody makes a mistake, there's going to be a whole audience, which may be anything from 200 to 2,000 people, know you made that mistake. With film, you can yell cut at any time. And in the special effects end of it, we have less opportunity to yell cut. We're trying to do something that is either impossible, stupid, or dangerous without hurting anybody and because we have control of time, we can usually pull it off. I'm a puppeteer. 